This is my 1940 Oldsmobile that we call Agnes. We call her Agnes because the original lady that owned it was Agnes, and she lived in a small town called Buxton, North Dakota, close to where I live in Grand Forks. The style was a quite sales sensation. It was the first sedan that had a coupe-style trunk and closed quarter windows. Some of the changes we made to this car, the rear fenders are actually an inch and a half higher on the body, and the fenders are an inch and a half taller than they were on the stock car to give it some shoulders. The wheel you can see is a 18 inch billet wheel patterned after a 58 Olds hubcap. The center part comes off, this part screws off, this looks like a 50 Olds hood emblem. My design for the wheels, which are, are people really like the wheels. One of the features we did to this car so we could drive it was we have double insulated doors. So they fit on the inside double seal and the outside seal is the stock rubber. So the doors are double sealed like a late model car. Other than that, the basic body is, is stock. The interior was done by Adam Banks, who works for Troy. We think it turned out very, very nice. It's leather, been proved to be very nice. Front seats are out of a Cadillac, they're power. The emblem on the seat here used to be on the dash and it says Custom 8 Cruiser Hydromatic Drive. That emblem used to be on the dash of these 40 Oldsmobiles with the Hydromatic. The steering wheel is 55 Olds and the dash is actually out of a 49 Cadillac. Differential in the car is a late model Cadillac CTSV independent rear end. Front suspension is Corvette. The, the engine is built to look like a 50 Olds rocket, but it's actually a LS3 Corvette. It has what looks like a stock oil bath air cleaner and it looks like a stock carburetor. It's not a carburetor, it's just an illusion. That just lets air in. The fuel injectors are under these rails, so it's an LS3 Corvette fuel injected engine. Made to look like a rocket V8. Cool. The thing that we have fun with is the little thing that looks like a fuel bulb here. It's got a couple of plastic ladybugs in it, so I keep telling people we're still trying to work the bugs out of the fuel system. One of the other subtle modifications was this hood has been pie cut about an inch. It's an inch shorter here than it was originally. So it doesn't look like it's nosed up, it's nosed nose down a little better. The grill is basically stock. The bumpers had some big ears on it that I cut off. Other than that, the, the bodywork and the grill and stuff is pretty stock. Uh, I took the car to Pinky Shop to get those fenders raised. Then I brought it over to Troy Topanier Shop to finish it up, do the interior and all the bright work and, and get it finished up. Both those builders are very good.